problem solving. <clears throat> this is the uh, problem solving uh, number one. This is on mechanical equilibrium. At an art auction, Whitney has acquired a painting that now hangs from a nail on her wall, as shown in the figure. If the painting weighs 126 newtons, what is the tension in each side of the wire supporting the patient, uh, the painting? So if we look at one side of it, uh, we see that if the painting weighs 126 newtons, half the load is going to be uh, 63 newtons. So that's pretty significant. And then uh, you have a 45 degree angle. So you're actually solving for the tension. So you know the adjacent, which is 63, you know the angle, which is 45. So you're going to set up a, an equation for cosine. So you know cosine theta equals adjacent over hypotenuse. Cosine 45 equals 63 newtons over T. And we have to solve for T. T is the tension. So the tension equals 63 newtons over cosine 45 degrees, and that's going to be 89.1 newtons. So that's the answer uh, for the tension. So uh, the next one, uh, Michelle likes to swing on a tire tied to a tree branch in her yard, as in the figure. A, if Michelle and the tire have a combined weight of 823 newtons, and Michelle's friend Elwin pulls her back far enough for her to make an angle of 30 degrees with the vertical, what is the tension in the rope supporting Michelle and the tire? So we can see how we're going to have um, uh, her weight is going to be uh, 825 and we need to find the tension. Now there's only one string so the entire vertical is going to be uh, 825 newtons. So you're simply solving for T again, same idea, and we get T equals 953. After returning home from the beach, Samantha hangs her wet two newton bathing suit in the center of the six meter long clothesline. To dry, this causes the clothesline to sag four centimeters. What is the tension in the clothesline? Well, the clothesline is going to be um, is going to be six meters long, so half that's going to be three meters. The sag is going to be 0 0.04 meters. Find the angle. The angle will be the arc tangent of 0.4 opposite over adjacent 0 0.04 meters over three meters and that will be the actual angle and then from there we can find out uh, from there we can find out uh, the tension in the line the red line so we see that the answer is 0 0.76 degrees it doesn't sag very much this is not drawn to scale and watch watch how a two newton bathing suit can cause a rather large uh, tension uh, in the red line and it would be important to put a little sag in your clothesline before drawing something and we can see that it's going to be uh, opposite over adjacent so it's going to be sine 0 0.76 degrees equals 1 newton over t and t equals 75.4 newtons so you can see how you create this tremendous by not putting a little bit of a you know, a little bit of sag, you know, a little bit of a uh, little, uh, you know, you don't tighten the clothesline that, that much. Otherwise things will snap and then you'll have a real mess. A flower pot weighing 42 newtons is hung above a window by three ropes, each, each making an angle of 15 degrees with the vertical. As shown, what is the tension in each rope supporting the flower pot? Uh, it's going to have 42 divided by 3 because you have three lines. And that's going to be uh, 14 newtons will be the blue line. Uh, we need to find out what T is of the red line. And it's 15 degrees. And so 
Uh, the math is going to be fairly straightforward here. We see that it's a cosine function. So it will be the uh, cosine 15 degrees equals 14 newtons over t. Solving for t, we get 14.5 newtons. Notice I have uh, three lines, three cords holding up a flower pot, so it's going to be 42 newtons divided by 3. If I had five cords, so I would divide it by 5, and you would act accordingly relative to the calculation. Now, uh, Luke Skywalker must swing Princess Leia across a large chasm in order to escape from the stormtroopers. If Luke and Leia's combined weight is 1450 newtons, calculate the tension of the rope just before Luke and Leia start their swing when the pair makes an angle of 30 degrees with the vertical. Well, it's only one line, so the entire blue line is 1450 newtons. I'm looking for the red line, which is the tension. And solving using 30 degrees cosine function, you get 1,670 uh, newtons is the line uh, with the tension in the line. The Ace Towing Company tows a disabled 10,500 newton automobile off the road at a constant speed. If the tow line makes an angle of 10 degrees with the vertical as shown, what is the tension in the line supporting the car? Well, the tension in the line supporting the car would be the blue line. And we know the red line, that's going to be the weight of the car. We know that that's going to be only one line, so the entire red line will be uh, 10,500 newtons. Solving using 10 degrees, we get T equals 10,600. Now, the flower pot had three lines, so we divided the load by three. Princess Leah and Luke, which is one line, so we divided it by one. And in this particular problem, we take 10,500 and we divide it by one because we only had one tow line. Okay, the next one is going to be two. Uh, so you're going to have to divide the load by two. So 50 divided by two is 25. So the first thing you have to do while camping in the Denali National Park in Alaska, a wise camper hangs his pack of food from a rope tied between two trees to keep the food away from the bears. If the 50 newton bag of food hangs from the center of the rope that is three meters long and the rope sags four centimeters in the middle what is the tension in the rope so solving for theta we see that it's going to be uh, arc tangent equals 0 0.06 over 1.5 or 2.3 degrees again there wasn't much sag left in the line that's kind of dangerous so we're going to probably end up with quite a large tension because we have such a small sag. And so solving for uh, the tension, now that we know what the angle is, solving for the tension is going to be 625 newtons. So you're taking a 50, a 50 newton load and you're creating a tension of 623 newtons. Unbelievable. That's why, again, I'm harping on this. Make sure that you put some slack in your clothesline. If you're going to hang clothing or something else from your clothesline. Now, next. In the figure, a 12,400 Newton wrecking ball is pulled back with a horizontal force of 5,480 Newtons before being swung against the side of a building. A. What angle does the wrecking ball make with the vertical when it is pulled and what is the tension in the ball's supporting cable when it is pulled at this angle so very confusing problem for my students let's take it one step at a time we know the red line the red line is the weight 12,400 newtons why do we use all of it why don't we divide it because there's only one cable holding the ball that's the purple line that's going to be only one cable so the so the vertical is going to be 12,400 newtons divided by one which is 12,400 newtons and then the the uh, the force pulling it back is going to be 5,480 newtons 
mg is just the weight of the ball, which is 12,400 newtons. So looking at this using the arc tangent, arc tangent is 5,480 divided by 12,400 newtons or 23.5 degrees. I can either use uh, sine, cosine, or the Pythagorean theorem to find the, the tension in the cable, the supporting cable, or here in this case, it's F. So I, in this case, I use Pythagorean theorem and I get 13,557 newtons. Try to do this problem yourself. Make up some different numbers and see if you can uh, have it make sense in your calculation. Very important problem for your test. Uh, so good luck with the problem. Next, after pulling his car off to the side of the road during a rainstorm, Travis is dismayed to find that the car has become stuck in the mud. Travis ties one end of the rope to the front of the car and the other end to a tree uh, 12 meters away as shown. If Travis can exert a force of 610 newtons on the rope, moving it one meter in the direction shown, how much force will the rope exert on the car? Why is this method better than simply trying tying a rope to the front of the car and pulling, pulling the car in a straight line? Well, that, that will become very obvious when we do the problem. But you can see that uh, the green line, the chartreuse line, is six meters. The red line uh, is going to be the, the, the tension in the rope. That's really what we're looking for. And then the blue line is going to be uh, is going to be his his effort for 610. If he can exert. 610 newtons on the rope uh, then you know the, the the question will be well okay if that's all true then we need to find the angle between the red and the chartreuse or red and lime green uh, vectors 610 newtons is the blue we're looking for the red uh, the black is the length of the cord and we have to find the angle first. So the angle is going to be 9.46. That's going to be uh, opposite over adjacent, which would be 1 over 6. So the arc tangent 1 over 6 uh, is going to be 9.46. And then plugging that in, we know that the blue line is 610. So that's going to be sine. So the sine 9.46 degrees equals 610 over T. T equals 3,711.4 newtons. So you can see um, the answer to B would be, why would you possibly uh, tie the rope to the front of the car? Just use physics instead. It would be much easier to do the problem. Blythe lies in a hospital bed with her foot in traction as shown. How much tension will the traction device exert on her foot? Dotted line represents one half the load on the patient's foot. Find the value of the dotted line and double it for your answer. Well, what we're going to have to solve for here is going to be the dotted line and then double that and that would be the line directly coming from the foot. So we know uh, we know really everything but the dotted line and the drawing in the next slide will show you what we know precisely. We know that the, uh, the hypotenuse, the blue line, is 50 newtons. Uh, so the, the uh, above and below is 50 newtons. So we know that we can solve for the red line. We know 25 degrees. So we know that it's going to be uh, cosine theta adjacent over hypotenuse and we know the hypotenuse already so we simply solve for the uh, red line and then double it and that would be the answer to the problem would be double the red line so 
when we do this, we have to make sure that we're solving for the red line, and then we make sure that we double it. And <clears throat> the uh, angle is 25, uh, so it's going to be cosine 25 equals t over 50. Solving for t, cosine 25 times 50 is going to be 45.3, and, and uh, multiplying that by 2, 2 times the tension, 2 times 45.3 newtons is going to be 90.6 newtons. Uh, good luck on your next test, and make sure that you know how to do all of these problems. I'll give you a hint. You will be quizzed on each one of these problems.